first, kind of playful, and Drake overlaughs and over celebrates how happy he is to be nudged oh by Paul God, Pierce. Oh my God, Paul Pierce got his sweat on me. I'm never going to wash this white T-shirt. <laughs> What is that? I mean, I don't mean to be, I don't mean to be so hard on the young fella, but what other way is there to look at that? Like, every time we see him, I will say this, though. This was definitely a better look than when he was dapping the dudes getting off the bus for Kentucky to go to their midnight madness. Like, that was the one where it was just like, I feel like you're taking this too far. When he watching Phil with him in the suit and everything like that, I bet he's tried that with the Raptors, and they had to be like, hey, little buddy, it's the NBA. We don't, we, we don't really allow this. That reminds me, can we watch that Drake's uh, three-pointer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Drake wanted to get close to Paul Pierce. He, was, he wanted to, the ability to make a three-pointer. Let's watch that. Ooh, just a little short. <laughs> it's too bad. I just wonder what this means for baseball where I'm from, from the south side of Chicago. Where kids going to shy away from it. Are parents going to get angry? What is it? You mean? know what? You know what I remember most from last year's Little League and millions of people watching? Kentucky won a close one last night on the road at LSU, 71-69. They remain undefeated. I turned it off, Tony, when Kentucky went up 13 with 12 minutes to play. What? Yes, you I turned, turned it off? to the NBA, big boy. You turned it off? NBA games. You went so to I sleep. missed the stretch, I'm not you, where Coach Cal decided to not call timeouts, make his Wildcats play their way out of that scare. A particular note was Cal screaming at Carl Anthony Towns after his technical foul, quote, I hope we lose. You'll learn. You don't do stuff like that in a 10-point game, close quote. LSU actually took the lead in that game, I, I'm told. But Kentucky came I back watched. and they closed it out, Tone. So what do you think of Cal's reaction with his team under stress? Well, we know Cal. I mean, he'll say anything at any time. And in the moment... But don't you like the strategy of letting them find their way out of trouble? Yeah, fine. At the moment that he says it, he believes it. And five seconds later, he believes something else. I watched that entire game, okay? Why? At 58-45, it was over. I watched it because That's you're using, LSU, using your moves. LSU had a chance, and I watched it, and it, was, it became a great game. Clearly. As it turns out, Towns won the game. He hit a three-point shot, desperation at the top of the key when they were running out of time. They kept him in the game. He made a sweeping hook in the lane that actually won the game. I've got to tell you this. LSU should have won that game. They played so stupidly in the last few minutes. that They didn't even get a good shot off in their last five trips. They College know basketball. they should have won College that game. A lot of weird things happen. Tony, here's what I do like about what Cal did. I do like letting them play their way out. I think college basketball is so overcoached. It's orchestrated because this is what coaches do if you allow them. And, I, you know, I'm going to attribute this. I'm sure other coaches did it long before Phil Jackson. You know, Phil Jackson was sitting there. People would make fun of him. They'd say he'd sit on his throne chair and put his, you know, chin in his hand. Yeah. And he'd let Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen and then Shaq and Kobe figure it out. And he wouldn't call timeout. I think that's they're pros. important to Kentucky they're pros that coming down the stress. They won't be as here's bad. My, here's my problem with Kentucky. Kentucky is a really good team. Yeah. Last night I thought they won because the LSU ball handling guard just kept drilling between his legs for 25 seconds at a time. But Kentucky reminds me right now of Florida State football. They are in a weak league. They win every game they have to win. Yeah. They win all the close games. I'm not sure that when they, they get to March. Yet, yeah. I'm not sure. They're awfully good. Paulie Stein and Towns, story line. they're awfully good. Compelling storyline. Last night during the Rockets Suns game on TNT. Are you sure that Coach Cal's message got through to Carl Towns? Ooh, got a little tight there for Kentucky against LSU. That's probably going to be the tightest regular season game that they played. That one could have gone bad. It didn't. Carl Towns, really talented, caught himself a technical foul for hanging on the rim here. Got to admit, just call it a little chintzy. What do you think? That's a bad call. Got a T hanging on the rim. But Coach Cal likes it, likes the call of Omani, wants to teach a lesson, sits him down and tells him, I hope we lose. I hope we lose this game so you remember this forever. <laughs> Does it look to you like Carl Townsend listening to him at that point? Does it look like he was listening to him? Well, beyond that, though, let's see this clip here of him not listening to Coach Cal because the comedic timing on this is impeccable. Listen to this post-game interview. We had to get it. Carl decided to chin himself up. And the reason I didn't call a timeout, I told them all. I hope they beat us. You know, that's a hero's point. For no reason he did it. That's his growth. There's where he's learning. 
quietly, this season has been about John Calipari's performance art in post-game interviews. Because what's there to talk about when everybody just expects you to win anyway? Now, he's got props. He's got backup actors. Because Carl Towns just made that the best one of the year. I can't believe that. I don't agree with Bomani. I think they might have a problem when they go to Arkansas during the regular season. But this is what happens when you've got super talented freshmen. Of course they're immature. They're super talented freshmen. The surprise would be if they're not immature. Can I say something to Cal Towns? Hey, Cal, I'm telling you something. You got to start listening to the coach, you know? I mean, they pay you a lot of money there in Kentucky, you know? So you got you got to respect your coach. Come on, Dad. Dude. Come on, Dad. Dad. How many times have you apologized for that they already? They pay him with education. Is Charles Barkley 